Over 200 players in a medieval persistent online open world battling for land, resources, and glory. Welcome to Of Kings and Men. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and are you ready to go to war in the 13th century? So back to Of Kings and Men, what in the world is it? Well, it is a game separated into several key modes, most notably a mode dubbed the Epic, which offers a large persistent open world with over 200 players. And these are human controlled players, by the way, and we're going to dive into more about this mode soon. But we will also be seeing battles, which are tense battle centric modes separated into team deathmatch, instant action, sequential battle, and finally conquest. Want to do a one versus one duel? Go for it. How about participate in over 200 player carnage? That'll be an option too. There will be a large variety of weapons, armor, and skills to prep yourself within these game modes before heading into battle. And these will allow you to customize your soldier to your liking. Now, Conquest and Sequential Battle piqued my interest the most, considering they are somewhat reminiscent of Battlefield's playstyle in that your faction has to capture territories on the map and even resources in order to win. And then we have that mode I spoke about just moments ago called the Epic. Sounds pretty epic to me. Welcome to the world of Oakham, which is going to be of kings and men's persistent open world where players can freely roam around and construct outposts, which can then turn into villages, towns, and finally, full-blown cities with walls. Now, outposts can be built as a group, but you can, of course, build them as a solo player too. But friends would make this process go faster, and I think it would be a lot more fun, of course. And I would imagine you would be able to run into random players and work with them as well. Now, in the Persistent World, players will be given an option to join one of several factions, which will have control over certain areas of the map. These locations can be contested, of course, and challenged by other players, so it'll be important to protect your land with defensive structures to ensure continued success. Now, resource management will always be in the back of your mind, as all of this building and management requires some attention. But this is not a survival game, and that's something I'm very excited about. I'm so glad you will not have to rely on food, water, and shelter to really play the game. It is a game that's more focused on the action, the warfare, the politics, and the faction wars. So it's not a survival game at all. Now, an example of resource management includes fighting other players to earn silver, to craft better equipment, defenses, and more. Most interestingly, the Epic, which is the name again for this persistent game mode, will have rounds which will last for months on end, but eventually they will come to a close. The world will basically reset once the round comes to a close, and the rewards can be absolutely huge if your faction is victorious. Now, while the world does reset, the achievements and honor will carry over to retain the history of the world, so you will be able to keep what you've earned from round to round. So how's this game going to be releasing, and when is it going to be releasing? Well, early access is coming to Of Kings and Men, but unfortunately, there is no currently known date for this. It is just labeled soon. They're trying to get it into people's hands as soon as possible. They really want a high-quality build for this, even in early access. I will definitely keep you updated about this, but this is what you can expect to see in early access. A refined combat system, a tutorial, two game modes at first, a social hub where you can hang out with other soldiers, full body and facial customization will be available, a skill system to specialize your character, leveling and progression, and full on inventory to check out armor customization and more. And if you are wondering if this game will have single player, right now the plan is to make it online only. The team developing the game wants to put all of their effort into making a high quality experience instead of thinning out their talent too much between single player and multiplayer, which I do think makes a lot of sense and could end up being a very wise decision. Besides, Ark Survival Evolved is an online game. It can be played kind of offline, of course, but... When you think of Ark Survival Evolved, it seems like they really nailed the online servers, which I hope this game does too. Now, if Kings of Men plans to release on Windows PC, and from there they will see about consoles, but absolutely no guarantees at the moment. In fact, it sounds like they are not even developing for consoles right now, so expect it to release on Windows PC. 
So there you have it. Let me know what you think of Kings and Men. It looks amazing to me. I really hope the final product ends up being like what we see here in the trailer. Of course, they're going through a lot of testing phases right now. They're testing out the battle system, it seems. I'm curious to see what happens with uh, the Empire building mechanics. It's going to be an awesome time when this game releases. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more of Kings and Men and much more open world gaming goodness right here on Open World Games. Subscribe if you are new. Would love to have you as part of our open world gaming family. And I will see you guys later and on the battlefield.